this problem is drawn here. So we have two uh, sides of a wire, which have a potential difference transmitting uh, current through the wire. And there's a power loss given here and the resistance of the wires given here. Distance between the two points of the wires given here. Um, I went ahead and wrote that down uh, on the left side. And uh, the three questions that were asked, basically the first question is, what's the voltage drop across the wire given this parameter here? The second question is, if there was a voltage drop of 240, how much power loss will be had? And then for the third question is, if there's a voltage drop of 24,000 volts, what's the power loss there? Um, first thing you want to do is just try to take the simplest route you possibly can. So for part A, for example, I think we just fit this all in here. For part A, um, they want voltage, they gave us R and they gave us P. So the first thing I think of is, well, there's P equals VI, but that's not going to help because we don't have current and I don't want to have to do too many steps for this. So you could also say P is equal to V squared over R. Uh, solving for V, we get square root P times R. You can go ahead and plug in the fact that there's 120,000 watts of, uh, sorry, yeah, watts of power loss in the lines. The resistance of the lines is 0 0.40 ohms. And so the voltage drop would be 219 volts. And if you want to go with insignificant figures, 220 volts. That's the voltage drop for the initial condition shown here. Now for B and C, we're going away from the picture and we're going into a hypothetical. The hypothetical is if instead the voltage drop, instead of 220, the voltage drop is 240, okay? What's the power? that's given in the lines, right? Or that's gonna be dissipated from the lines due to that transfer. Um, you're gonna go ahead and just use the same equation really, because we have a voltage given and we have the resistance right over here. So the power drop is going to, or the power dissipation is gonna be voltage squared divided by the resistance. Voltage is gonna be 240 volts. Resistance is 0 0.40 ohms. And this comes out to be 1.44 times 10 to the fifth power watts. And that's your answer. In significant figures, that'll be 1.4 times 10 to the fifth power watts. And I'll write that down here. For part C, same thing. What if instead the voltage drop is 200 and, oh, sorry, 24,000 volts. We use P is equal to V squared over R. This is 24,000. R is 0 0.4 ohms. And we get 1.44 times 10 to the ninth power watts or 1.4 times 10 to the ninth power 